Welcome everyone. Today I'll be demonstrating how I solved our resource assignment challenges using Clang. We will cover assigning resources to new projects and visualizing our team's resource allocation as part of today's demonstration. Talking about key challenges product owners face and how we will resolve them with Clang. Clang is a comprehensive tool that streamlines resource management. It helps in efficient project planning and resource allocation. It enables clear visualization of team's workloads and assignments. Now let me take you through a quick demo of adding user stories to a project, adding estimated hours, assigning them to resource, and then visualizing their workload in resource planner. So we will start off by looking at our current resource allocation using the resource planner page and client. I manage a team of few resources, and here I can see one of my developers is free starting the week of 1st July. I already have a project planned, which I would like to assign it to him. So on the project page, we have the requirements tab. This is where we maintain the requirements, and after meeting with the developers and scoping the project, I will now start and adding the stories in the project to the project itself. So to do that, I will simply come to the project workspace and start adding those user stories. So in this example, I have two user stories for this project. And the first thing I would do is create two new tasks under the user stories branch. From there, I will simply copy the user story name and add that to the task that I've created. I can now open up the site task panel and also copy and paste the acceptance criteria. I will do the same for the second user story. I can simply click on the second task here and it'll open the side task panel for that task. I can come back to my requirements document and copy and paste the requirements for the second user story. I can also rename the second task by simply copying the name. Now with this, both of my stories are now in the project. The next thing I'll do is I'll define a task type for them. Here we have a pick list where we can define task types or various types of tasks. For my example, they are both stories. So I'll tag them as story. Next up, I'll define their priority. And then finally, after meeting with the developer, once we have the estimated hours for both the stories, I'll add those estimated hours. So both of these stories will take two days each. That would mean I need to adjust the start and the end date for the story, which I can simply do by coming into the start and the due date column. So the first story I'm gonna plan from 2nd to the 3rd of July. And the second story I'm gonna plan from 4th to 5th for July. Once this is done, I will simply select both the stories and assign it to the resource I'm planning to give these stories to. Once a resource assignment is done, I will simply go back to the resource planner page and refresh it. This is where now I'll see that the resource is now fully booked for the week of 1st July. So this is how easy it is to first visualize the need of new projects for our team and then assigning them to the projects and finally visualizing their workload. I can do this exercise for the other team members as and when needed. Thank you so much for watching. And as you can see, it only took me about four minutes to scope a project and assign that to a team member. Thanks.